no education for women in Afghanistan would mean no female doctors too. Speaking about Afghanistan, Suhail Shaheen, the head of the Taliban political office in Qatar, Doha, on Tuesday rejected media reports about new restrictions for women in Afghanistan. However, several reports from Afghani women with even their protests revealed women face many limitations. The Taliban, in particular, rejects the reports on the ban on working in shopping malls. The Al Arabiya broadcaster reported earlier on Tuesday, citing sources, that an interim Afghan government, led by the Taliban, was set to close women's beauty salons in the country in the next 10 days and ordered a ban on women working in shopping malls. This information is incorrect. The relevant bodies reject this statement, Shaheen said. The interim Afghan government came to power in the fall of 2021 after the withdrawal of US troops from the country and the collapse of the US-backed government. The Taliban takeover triggered economic disarray and food shortages that have pushed the country to the brink of a humanitarian crisis. Thousands of Afghans have fled the country, fearful of the Taliban, widespread violation of human rights, and the deprivation of women and girls of their freedoms. The ban on women's education would have direct repercussions to blocking women from ministering to women in the end. The Guardian reports that most Afghan families rely solely on female breadwinners, yet the latest restrictions threaten to increase hardship and unemployment. The Guardian shares the story of Gulsum, the only breadwinner in her family of six, who has had no job to go to. When the Taliban came to power, and she had to leave her position in the Ministry of Social Affairs. Now, the 28-year-old has lost her job with a private organization. She said, all my efforts were reduced to zero with one command of the Taliban, she says, adding that she has been financially independent since the 12th grade of school. Since regaining power, the Taliban has imposed more extreme restrictions on women, with the latest ban this week affecting women working in all local and foreign non-governmental organizations and NGOs. Thousands more have joined the dilemma of the unemployed in Afghanistan. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs has said depriving women of work exacerbates the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. Many women who are the only income earners for their families are extremely shocked and distressed. Earlier, a report came that the Taliban issued a new law in Balkh province, Afghanistan, stating that women are not allowed to visit male doctors. The response to this from netizens was if there is no education for women, there would be no female doctors either. Thus, if the Taliban were banning girls and women's education and stopping women from going to work, how would they raise up women doctors that women can visit? Logic is defeating them, which is why it is important to be ruled by the educated, otherwise, such regression would rule a country to eventually bring it down. Afghanistan suffered bitterly after America abruptly left the nation, in poverty, with no provisions and a tough extremist taking over, shocking the nation after decades of liberal rule. Joyce Bruns writes, Remember Afghanistan read the news article about how Afghans suffered during their first winter after the US abruptly left Afghanistan and the Taliban moved in by Christina Lam. At Housebook, at GOP leader, at Steve Scalise, at Rep Stefanik, at Jim Jordan, at James Kummer.